It looks at first sight like an old-fashioned farm show, but step past the machines from the museum and you're inside Agritech 2009 in Tel Aviv, an agricultural show for the 21st century farmer. Here, nanotechnology rubs shoulders with infrared spectrometry, bringing the latest advances in Israeli high-tech direct from the lab to the farmhouse. Through careful breeding, the yield from Israeli cows has been increased to four times the amount found in some countries. Using in vitro fertilization, Adaya Arroyo and her colleagues at MaxiMilk are producing high-yield cow embryos for export. We take those good embryos and implant them, uh, embryo transfer and surrogate cows at the destination country. So if it's in India or in China or uh, Uzbekistan, you just take the local cows, you put our embryos in, and once the calf is born uh, and ready to, to start milking, uh, you can just uh, receive the high milk yield potential like in Israel. We use these embryos, uh, we produce them in the lab in the IVF technician, we take the sperm and the eggs and create the embryo, then we freeze it in liquid nitrogen and ship it to countries with a lower milk production in, than in Israel. Since in Israel, uh, genetic selections over the last 80 years uh, brought the milking cow to, and the entire dairy industry uh, to a very good uh, position where each cow produces annually between 9 and 15,000 kilograms of milk. At the Volkani Institute, Zev Shmilovich has developed a range of devices that can do almost anything from measuring flower stems to detecting moldy apples. What this machine do is uh, detecting moldy core in apples. Moldy core is co caused mainly by a fungus called alternaria and it caused a rotten center of the apple which uh, if you ever tried an, uh, an apple that looks nicely outside but it's decayed inside, the disappointment is very very strong. So the idea is to detect by using near infrared spectroscopy to detect its small decor non-destructively online and to uh, excel the quality of uh, the red varieties, apples uh, that are uh, growing and uh, packed in Israel. Once the apples are sorted, you need to pack them. And that's where the latest machine from Menashe Tamir at Eishet Elon comes in. Well, we just stand here in front of our uh, latest product, which is an automatic uh, palletizing machine. This is uh, up to date. We manufacture the complete line, which is the heart of it is electronic uh, sizes, which based on a very accurate weight, color, size, and all the combination between them. The difference is that we supply a complete line and the service, uh, the design. So we are a one-stop uh, company that uh, people that need uh, those solutions can come to us. And we design it for them and tailor made it for their specifications and service it after we sell it to them and install it for them. We have a large market, of course, here in Israel. We have a huge market in all the Latin America countries. We have people over there that are actually doing the sales and the service and the installation. Central and South America. We sell to Africa. We just finished a project in China. You can see some pictures on the wall over there that are uh, showing the large packing houses for citrus over there. Uh, we have machines in about 40 countries all over the world. And in this time of global warming, you don't need to worry if the weather starts playing up. It looks like a space station, but it's actually the latest thing in greenhouses from the Israeli company Yamko Yadpaz. We gave a solution to high temperature that they need. They are 40 outside and we need to go down to 20 degrees. We are working in the Russian areas that we uh, fight against the snow and the freeze with heating systems and controlling systems. We designed the project for the client. The greenhouse products getting bigger all the time because people want to control the weather of what they grow. They can't find, fight anymore about the wind and the snow and everything. We sell uh, to Africa, we sell to Egypt. We have contacts all over the world, we have agents all over the world that sell our products. And we give uh, any solution they want. So if you're looking for anything from strawberry-shaped tomatoes to a red cauliflower, Israel's agricultural inventors may have just the answers you need.